Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Miss Peets and I am the high school chorus teacher. I wanted to take you through the development of this virtual concert and what obstacles we face as an ensemble in order to get to this point. So at the start of the year, we were told that the guidelines for music through the state are that students must be 12 feet apart and wearing masks while performing. And we quickly realized that this was going to become a big obstacle for our concerts and the things that we usually look forward to as ensembles. We've seen our all counties and all states across the state get canceled. And I wanted to make sure that this didn't happen to our high school choral students and that we still had an opportunity for performance in December. So when we began doing a virtual concert, we looked at all of the steps that would need to take place and the students worked with me to be flexible and resilient and positive the whole time so that we were able to put together this concert for you despite the obstacles. Speaking of obstacles, I'm gonna take you through the process of how we were able to do this as a team. The first obstacle we had was the fact that we could not have a pianist because there are no visitors allowed in the building. So we had to record the piano tracks ahead of time. We had to use microphones that were 12 feet apart in order to record the vocal tracks in small groups of six people or less. Next, we had to collect the recordings from our StarPoint Online Learning Academy students. After that, we had to take the audio recordings from our Online Learning Academy students, our Garnet students, our Gray students, and put them all together to create the illusion that we were singing in time. Then we took chorus outside so that we could unmask and the audience can see our faces as we sing. At times, we even took to the pool to use the good acoustics of that room. Our final step was to take the videos that we recorded in Garnet and Gray and place them side by side. Obviously, this concert was not easy for us to put together, but I'm proud of the positivity that the students showed throughout the entire process. And with that, I'm proud to present our winter concert, Tidings of Comfort and Joy.